Chief Justice Bad Katurebe appeared before the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee at the High Court in Kampala to present the judiciary's policy statement. This is the first time the committee is holding its proceedings outside parliament for an official other than the president. Justice Katurebe, who was accompanied by the Deputy Chief Justice and the Principal Judge, told the committee that the poor pay of judicial officers may make some of them susceptible to bribes from corrupt individuals. Now, if you can ask God not to lead you to temptation, if you appoint a magistrate, put him in that station and don't provide for him the temptation you are putting him in, I'm sure even Jesus would judge you very harshly. Justice Katureve, who spoke passionately about the general underfunding of the judiciary, also decried the allowances given to the judges. He raised concern about the housing allowances given to the Supreme Court judges of 2.4 million shillings as inadequate, considering that it was based on an act passed in 1998. Now, honorable members, 2.2 million, 2.2, 2.4 million is now about $700. Where would I find a decent house for a man who was the Attorney General of Uganda, now Chief Justice? <laughs> You give me two million shillings to go and find housing, it's not fair. He also described the health benefits given to the judges as shameful. You know what they give us for medical, which is under that schedule? 200,000 shillings a month. Now, 200,000 shillings a month, go to any medical facility, they probably will not even test your blood with it. The Chief Justice's comments shocked some committee members who also raised concerns about the magistrate's low salaries. I am meant to understand that today a magistrate has something like 2,000 as lunch allowance, particularly those in upper country, in upper country courts. Sorry? 3,000. That can only get food in a market. It, it actually, popularly known as Chikomando. It is unacceptable. They also discussed the increasing backlog of cases which currently stands at 169,000. The Chief Justice says it is partly brought about by the low number of judges, especially in the High Court. We recognize the scarce resources in the national level. We do appreciate it may not be possible in one financial year to appoint all the 30 judges, but at least give us 10. At least give us 10 so that we raise the number from 60 from 50 to 60. The Supreme Court judge also stated the amount of money they needed to dispose of the cases. To increase the total case disposal to over 150,000 at all levels of court. This will, however, require an additional 16.5 billion shillings as indicated in the table below. The judiciary has on several occasions raised concerns about underfunding. Two years ago, the government increased the salaries of all judges above the high court, but did little in increasing salaries of low-ranking officers. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.